Hello YouTube's Grossama, and here I have the high grade Bill Divers GM3 Beam Master. Um, now there's quite a few things I actually have to say about this kit. Um, I would just get this out of the way. I did not want to buy this. Uh, I was really like, I wasn't even on the fence. I was on the opposite side of the fence saying I do not want to buy this kit. I don't want this in my collection. I didn't think it looked good at all. But then I started thinking there's a kind of rule of thumb I have that I, I usually try and stick to. If it's a kit that has at least a, like a small amount of potential to be great, um, it, like if it's you know maybe based on a suit that I like or if it has certain weaponry or has a certain aesthetic or gimmick that is possibly really good, um, that I think that's worthy of me buying it to build it and kind of think you know kind of like review it at that point because I can't give a, a, a true review or my true analysis on something I haven't built. Um, now obviously pricing kind of depends. Like if, if a kit is like over you know 50 bucks and like I'm, I just don't want it because um, I have no interest in it then I'm probably not gonna get it but this was like what 15 16 dollars something like that so I was like you know what I love GM's I, I don't really even I don't even have I don't think I have one GM in my collection if I'm if I'm remembering right I do have a Nemo so that's kind of something uh, but I don't, I don't have GM's in my collection and I don't really have a lot of grunt suits um, so I was like let me go ahead and just get this guy because it kind of looks okay um the, the color scheme isn't bad and even if like to be honest like yeah the color scheme to me isn't the best and i can easily just repaint it it's not really an issue but i was like do i really want to put all that energy into this suit and i was like no i really don't want to put all the energy into this suit but i did put a little bit of energy uh, as you can see right here uh obviously no stickers are used these are the stickers right here um, so in, in the review, I'll go ahead and I'll show off exactly what the, where these stickers went and what was painted. Um, but that's about it. So hey, I bought it. I went ahead and built it and I have some uh, thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so taking a look at the head, um, the only stickers that's going to be utilized is going to be for uh, these two sensors right up here and then this back sensor right there. Uh, now also on the neck, there's going to be a gray sticker uh, that should go right here and it's going to be number uh seven so just big old gray sticker uh right there and then stickers number one two and three are going to be for the top of the head now for the visor uh it's a little bit hard to see once again guys i don't have my lamps in yet uh, but it should be here this week so maybe not by this next review that's coming up but probably i would say by Friday, whatever videos I upload should have my uh, all my lamps and everything. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the head real quick. Uh, there is going to be a green visor that's right inside here. This is a little green piece. Um, pretty nice, nothing really uh, too complex. And um, I would say there's a lot of good uh, places for painting. Um, well, I guess maybe not a lot of places, but um, you got a blank canvas as far as the head. So if you want to do some painting or uh, panel line, chiseling, whatever, uh, you definitely can do that. And I went ahead and just painted these uh, Vulcans right there because I just think that they look better like that. Okay, so taking a look at the body, um, the only sticker that's going to be used outside of uh, what's on the neck is going to be right here for the green sensor. That's going to be uh, number four on the sticker sheet. So right there, that sticker is going to be used. Uh, but obviously this is pretty easily just you know paint, paint that green and you're kind of good with it. Uh, now the mobility as far as the waist, um, it just goes side to side. I mean, you can kind of like overextend it, but it's on a little poly cap. So if you really want to try and get some kind of ab crunch, you got to pull it out just a little bit and then you can bend it a little bit forward. But I think overall, it's really not that great. So, you know, kind of whatever your opinion is on that, that's your opinion. But for me, I don't think that's a, a really great kind of joint. Okay, so taking a look at the arms, uh, the arms are pretty much going to be... Uh, a lot are going to be carried over from the GM3, uh, but the, the posability isn't really, really too bad. It's going to be on a ball joint right here, so you get a little kind of range of movement like that. And this can also come out just a little bit. Now you also get a uh, swivel right here below the bicep. Now the arms uh, can actually, it has two different points of uh, articulation. So right here, and as well as right here, that's not really too bad. That's To me, it's a little more impressive. Uh, than what I originally thought just looking at the promotional photos and then right here is gonna be uh, the hands gonna be on a poly cap now you only get you realistically you only get these two hands right here these little open hands uh, which are okay they kind of look a little dated though um, but you do get one more hand that's gonna be for the rifle 
which we'll talk about when we get to the weapons. Okay, so looking at the ways, uh, obviously when we get to uh, kind of the armaments and all the different weapons, you'll know that there is going to have uh, that weapon that's going to be plugged into the sideways right here. But this part can just come out just a little bit, so nothing really spectacular at all. And you can cut these front skirts pretty much in half, and you know they can each individually uh, come up like so. However, the back skirt isn't going to be able to do much of anything, but there is two peg holes, um, which I think is kind of kind of stupid in my opinion, uh, but hey, you got two peg holes right there in the back. Okay, so taking a look at the legs, um, honestly, I'm not very fond of these legs. I think they look um, a little bit too bulky for my taste. I think I think they should have slimmed the legs down just a little bit. Um, but overall, hey, you know, let's go ahead and just take a look at them. So just knocking out the posability real quick, um, they're gonna be able to come out about that far. Now, it, obviously if these uh, skirts were not in the way, it could do full splits, which is pretty impressive. And then if you get this skirt up a little bit, you know, you can bring this up quite a bit. Uh, just really gotta move so that way that knee can, uh, can get out the way. But that's really gonna be about it on that. And then moving back, it's only gonna be able to go that far just due to the fact that this back skirt is really gonna hinder its ability to uh, continue on back. Now, um, the knee joint isn't really, I guess it's not too bad for you know a GM kit. Um, it's only gonna be able to go about a 90 degrees. So that's okay. I'm not really kind of like slammering it because of that. I think it's just mainly because this knee part right here just does not look, it doesn't look that great to me. So the ankle is gonna be on a little ball joint that connects right inside here. Um, so you get a pretty good range of movement in, in all opinion. I think this is really good. It's better than some kits I've reviewed in the past. And then this little foot piece can actually come down so you can get a little bit extra movement. And then obviously the ankle skirt is gonna be able to move up and down, not really too much, but hey, it kinda is what it is. Now some stickers are supposed to be used. Obviously these knee parts are supposed to be um, utilizing these stickers right here, but these stickers are pretty, pretty trash. Uh, so this is actually a white piece. Pretty easy to just go ahead and paint that gray. And then these little pieces down here, that's supposed to be these little stickers. But once again, I just don't like stickers and I think they look kind of trash. Um, you can paint these little hoses in the back. I just went ahead and painted them on silver because I thought that looked pretty cool. And then these little pegs right here, these are gonna be utilized for um, the little, I guess, side leg thrusters. It's gonna be, um, you know, I'm gonna show you uh, that in a little bit. And then over here, I just went ahead and painted these little parts uh, just because it looks so plain. It's, it's an all orange, so I don't know. It just in my opinion, I think this really benefits from painting the inside of those uh, however you want. I just went ahead and painted gold and black. And then underneath the feet, you do get some thrusters. So hey, I say if you want to go ahead and kind of spice up your mobile suit, you can definitely go ahead and paint the underside of the feet as well. Okay, and we have the backpack right here. So uh, I think it looks okay. I actually really like this backpack. Uh, you have this like, little antenna right here. And then on the tip of the antenna, Right there, you should be utilizing this sticker, this little like tan sticker. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that as well. And then obviously, if you want, you can go ahead and paint the inside of these thrusters. You know, paint them whatever colors you want. I just went ahead and went with gold because I think that looks much better. So it just really depends on you and how you actually want to go about your backpack. But I think this is fine for what it is. Uh, now, obviously, there's some little holes right there because the uh, GM3 has some extra parts that, that were connected right there. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our first set of weapons. Uh, so you're gonna have these little missile ponds right here in the top. Now this whole part right here, inside here is gonna be completely white. So you're gonna have to paint those. Um, it's, it's really not that hard. I just think it's, you gotta be careful. So you're gonna have, uh, probably have to mask the inside of these little parts right here, these little white uh, parts on the inside and then you know paint paint all that and then clean the outside of the missile that's that's pretty much what i did i just like borderline dump paint all inside there and then i just cleaned up the missile pods to where they're white again which to me it looked it, it came out okay now obviously other people can do a little better job but hey um i just kind of did what you know the cheapest and more more well most efficient route was uh but overall the missile pods don't look no don't look too bad the only thing that kind of like bugs me is why is these little two sensors not symmetric that kind of bugged me the whole time like i get it like you, you cost uh cost efficiency on the plastic to where you can just create the same thing um and i think even in the uh, yeah even in the show they're, they're the same way so i don't know it just kind of made me wonder like why are they like that or is this 
I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know why this couldn't be on the inside or that couldn't be on the outside, but uh, that's pretty much it on the missile pods. Oh, and uh, lastly, you can go ahead and paint the back side. Uh, I just went with black because I just want to keep it, you know, fairly simple, but uh, you could definitely go ahead and benefit from uh, silver if you want to go ahead and utilize that. Okay, so for the next weapon, uh, you're going to have the Buster Binder. Um, you know, at first I was like, this looks stupid. I, I, like, I just couldn't get behind this. But then I started like realizing, like, hey, this isn't like really that bad of a weapon. Um, it kind of reminds me of Sayori's, um, you know, kind of rifle because he has it to where, like, whenever it kind of combines. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and have the Buster Binder, uh, which is gonna be the kind of like the side skirts for uh, this mobile suit. Now, these things, I, you know, I really didn't like at first, but they kind of just grown on me. Now, essentially, what they are, they are essentially like they kind of like shotgun blast. Um, so they can shoot basically like a scatter shot out of this little um, you know hole. This is kind of like it's you know blast or whatever and you see this in the first episode uh so essentially you know if, it, if if a mobile suit comes a little bit too close it can just go ahead and fire this off and it's just like bam you know very close wide range uh energy beam shot so i think this is pretty cool and then when this is uh, tethered with the changeling rifle it actually has a more powerful blast for mid-range attacks uh, now this just connects on the uh, side on a peg of the side skirts and overall looks good and uh right here on the top I know it's kind of like a little messy, my bad. So right here on the top, it's supposed to be a sticker, uh, like a gray sticker, but I went ahead and just painted it. Now I kind of painted it a little bit poorly, uh, but it's supposed to be this one right here. So I just went ahead and painted it. Uh, to me, it looks okay, but yeah, obviously I, I messed up a little bit on the, the paint job, but hey, it kind of is what it is. I just went ahead and painted the inside of these little parts right here green, because it kind of reminded me of Sayori's uh, rifle when he has like those little green parts underneath it. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do that uh, for this thing as well. Okay, so the next thing that this thing is going to have is going to be these missile launchers. Uh, now, they're all, they also act as thrusters, so the inside of here, um, these are just thrusters, but simultaneously, they do fire rockets that uh, come out of, I think, this way. So I guess they, they'll kind of rotate forward, and then you can go ahead and shoot uh, rockets. I don't think this was shown in the anime at all. Um, the one thing I just definitely noticed is that these are actually uh, thrusters, but the fact that these are rockets as well makes this look a little bit cool. Now, this part is going to be in all uh, orange. So that does suck, but if you go ahead and just paint up a little bit, hey, it's gonna look a little bit better. Okay, next is gonna be the changeling rifle. Uh, this is the primary weapon for the GM3 Beam Master. Uh, it's it's unique, I would you know to say the least. Um, you can definitely hold it with both hands right here, and then you're gonna have two different modes of firing. So you're gonna have like the little Gatling gun rifle right here, and then you're also gonna have the pulse. Uh, I think it's just a regular uh, long distance rifle right here. And you can essentially change it up. So I'm guessing whatever's on the top is the one that's going to be firing. So you change it up like that. And then bam, now you're going to have the actual rifle part uh, firing first. So I think, you know what? It's it's not bad. This, this At first I was kind of like against this. I was like, oh, it looks kind of stupid. Uh, but to be honest, like it doesn't really, really look too bad. Um, I, I kind of get down with it. So... Uh, yeah, if you do like this weapon, you know, I know it's going to be sold separately fairly soon, um, but if you do like this weapon and you just want to go ahead and get this kit, hey, you're going to have a really awesome weapon with this guy. So one thing you can actually do to go ahead and give the changeling rifle a little bit more power is plug it right into the buster binders. So it has a little peg right inside here. All you have to do is peg it in right there and then just go ahead and plug the hand right here on the side if you can. And bam, now you're going to go ahead and have the changeling rifle attached to the little binder. And it's going to go ahead and extend it and, you know, it's basically going to draw the power from the binder into the weapon itself. Which, you know, to be honest, it's not really that bad. It looks, it looks okay. It's very, very unique in, you know, the way that uh, it uses these little side binders as an extra boost for its main, uh, main rifle. Now, of course, you do get some beam sabers with this. So you get two uh, beam saber effect parts and then two beam saber hilts. Now they can't be stored anywhere on the kit, so they're just kind of like loose, uh, but they do fit pretty nicely right into the hand. If I can just go ahead and get it right inside the hand, bam. So now if this kit really wants to go ahead and utilize that beam saber, it's gonna have one right there that it can actually use. 
And the last couple weapons you're gonna have is these leftover parts from the GM3. You're gonna have this little beam rifle right here and it's gonna have that extra hand uh, attached with it. So if you wanna go ahead and use it, you can, but um, it's, I don't think it's canon. I don't think the suit's actually gonna have it in the anime. And then you're gonna have the shield. Once again, I don't remember this ever having it in the anime or any kind of promotional pictures. Uh, so this is just essentially a leftover part that you can use for maybe any other uh, mobile suit if you choose. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this kit overall now that, now that I've built it? Um, well, I can honestly say they're, you know, they're, they're pretty positive. Um, I, I did not want to buy this kit for one. Two, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm not really into that color, the, the color scheme. I'm not really into the design. I don't really like the weapon itself. So I was kind of like off put it, you know, by the suit. Um, then I saw it in action in the anime and I was like, you know what, it doesn't really look that bad. And I think. I think I could probably make it work. So I kept looking at the promotional pictures and I seen like a lot of blank spots and I'm like, you know what, like I can do, I can put a little bit of paint in here, I can put a little bit of paint in there. So I was like, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this kit and I'm gonna try and prove myself, you know, wrong that hey, this is actually a pretty decent kit. So um, I would say the base kit, the GM3, it, it, it wasn't a bad kit. So uh, this in turn does not make it a bad kit. What happens is, a lot of these parts, like on on the legs, the uh, the waist, and, and everything, it's pretty bulky, so it's going to be very hard to get really good poses out of this. Um, that that's kind of an issue I have. Uh, you, you know, you can definitely take them off. I don't think you don't really have to have it on there. If you want to take these little missile pods off, you can. You've already seen the anime. He takes these missile pods off right there. Um, so you know, he kind of takes them off. So it looks like you can just really take all these things off. And just kind of customize it has all these little pegs in there so hey you know i would say if you really like the, at least the design maybe buy it and then just kind of like customize it uh with some of those extra parts i mean they have those little campaign you know parts like these little things right here if you want go ahead and utilize these um but i think overall hey the kit's not bad i'm, I'm actually kind of happy i have it uh did a little bit of detail work to it so for you guys um, if you're kind of wondering if this is a kit that you should buy or maybe you're kind of curious if you already have your doubts I think maybe you shouldn't if you just already have doubts like I'm not really into this I'm not really too sure maybe not purchase this but if you're thinking hey I wouldn't I wouldn't mind trying to put my little twist on here maybe do some painting here and there uh, maybe add some kind of custom weapons to it hey I, I think I think at that point this is uh, this is gonna be worth your purchase uh, but for those that are just like straight if you just love straight building and you don't like to do anything outside of just put some stickers and maybe some panel lines honestly I don't think this kit's for you it's gonna look very plain and boring on your shelf unless unless that's what you're into um, hey by all means go ahead but you're gonna have to do a little bit of paint to kind of make this thing stand out so I know I always kind of you know in my reviews I, I do a lot of painting in my stuff um, so as you can see, yeah, like all this right here, like I mentioned before, that's going to be all uh, orange. This is going to be all orange. I mean, there's a sticker right on top there. These little missile pods going to be all white. So if you're not into painting, hey, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you're going to have a very boring looking suit on, on your uh, on your shelf. But hey, guys, um, I just want to go ahead and give my two thoughts on this kit. I, I, I think it's okay. Um, do I recommend you buying it, like I mentioned before? Only if you're into doing a little extra detail work and maybe if you're into uh, to GMs. I, I like GMs, so that's, when, uh, that's why I went ahead and purchased mine. Um, but that's it for me, guys. I'm tired of rambling on. I want to go ahead and build another kit for y'all, and I can go ahead and review some more stuff. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and conclude it right here, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. Thanks for support, uh, supporting this channel and to all the newcomers. Um, I, I definitely appreciate y'all coming in, checking out, checking out the channel and staying. Um, I definitely want to keep progressing in this channel. And if you do have any kind of recommendations, please leave them in the comments below or go to any one of my social media, um, like plugins at the bottom in the description and message me there. If you have any kind of, uh, you know, questions or you have any kind of recommendation thoughts, things of that nature. Uh, but I'll be seeing y'all in the next review, which should be, well, the next review will probably not be until Friday. Uh, but I'll be doing an unboxing tomorrow and I'll go ahead and do the pose videos for both this guy and the beam uh, and the um, H2 Magnum. So I'll see y'all guys later and remember just have a great time if you're going to build this. Definitely have a great time with it and I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.